Suter taps it ahead. Parisi whips to Commonville now into the Detroit zone. Commonville set it just wide. Spurgeon recovers in the corner. Plays to the point. Back to Spurgeon for a redirect. Howard got a pat on that one. Granlin awaits, then fires. A lot of traffic out front as Parisi was wiped out. It's going to be an interference call against the Red Wings. Our Kevin Gorg uh, talked about getting a good start. This is as good as any. And you've got Detroit guys down to 4D net right now with the injury and a man in the box. So his own time will matter. Koivu scores! Liam Nicholas Lidstrom on their team that led them into the postseason and throughout, throughout that stretch, no team reached the finals more often or won more cups. Swing goes off the post and on the rebound they score. Flicked into the empty net by Smith on the rebound and the Red Wings have tied it on a power play goal just eight seconds into a man advantage. Randlin was tangled up with Smith out front of the net. Heavy hit thrown by Pommonville along the boards. Scandella works his way to the middle to Brodine. Brodine in, a shot, save, rebound, Parisi, stopped by Howard. Cross to Parisi. Parisi down low, spins away from DeKaiser and fell. Still got it to Pommonville. Heatley taps to the point. Granlin works into the circle. Granlin down low, Parisi tried to center. That was broken up. As we approach the 15-minute mark of what has been a scoreless second period, Spurgeon plays it back, but it was out of the reach of Parisi, who now steals the pass, fires, saved by Howard, rebound, a chance for Pommonville, and Howard stops that as well. To the middle for DeKaiser. Trade spots with Tatar. Kindle's shot. Centering pass, Leglon scores. What a feed from Shan, and the Red Wings with their second power play goal of the night. 24 to 22 through the first two periods. Charlie Coyle in for Minnesota. Taken down by Franzen. And oh, it's going to be a penalty shot for Charlie Coyle and a chance to tie it 15 seconds into the third. Oh, it's going to be Charlie Coyle who did have a, a step and he gets tripped. Now, if he makes contact with the puck, there's likely no penalty, but Charlie Coyle did have a head of steam on that fresh ice. Howard, but Charlie Coyle is a pretty good shootout artist. See if he's able to convert with a penalty shot. Charlie Coyle on the penalty shot. He scores! And Minnesota ties it! Because it was bouncing and Howard could have gone to school on that. Uh, but it was such a good move, maybe it didn't matter. Suter with a shot, Howard with a save, trying to smother the rebound, and he gets a whistle even though the puck was never frozen. I'm playing it, and it was frustrating for the Wild in that second period, but some speed and some push by the Wild as I'm tied. Scandella has the puck for Minnesota. Suter plays it out to center ice. Smith has it there for Detroit. He scored the first goal for the Red Wings tonight. Nyquist into the Minnesota zone. He scores! Beats Kemper clean from the circle, and the Red Wings are back in front 3-2. The outside by Stoner. Smith, long one, got through, save, rebound, and it's waved off. Immediately waved off. It went in on the rebound, and Franzen gets an explanation, but... Oh, he's, he's emphatic about it. Calling his interference on... Bronson in the crease. That's what the wings are saying to my right, Anthony. They are saying that the crease is Interference. Bronson doesn't like the explanation. But the Red Wings come away with it. Last shot to Nyquist. He sends it all the way across, and Kemper has to make a big pass save. Centering pass. It's loose out front. Bronson got it to the line. Coyle sends him to the ice. Turnover. Spurgeon's in. Saved by Howard. And Howard somehow got the right arm back. Molson in the corner. Koivu wheels and fires. The horn sounds. And the Red Wings beat the Wild here at the XL Energy Center.